Okay, I'm stuck in traffic on my way to work, and uh, the Mathemba effect uh, videos I posted, something uh, kept swirling through my head. Like, I thought it was the convective currents that were causing the greatest heat loss in the hot water versus the cold water. Uh, but then after watching some of the other videos on there about people that actually did get hot water freeze first, uh, it occurred to me that most of them set their hot and cold waters onto a base of ice crystals or, or frost-like substance, and those people had their, their hot water freeze extremely fast compared to the cold water. So although uh, my, my uh, claim that convective currents in the water do cool the hot water faster, which is true, it's not fast enough to freeze it first. It's only fast enough to freeze it at the same time. So uh, if you could, uh, like I may, may do another experiment, but my straw trick, if you could set cold and hot water in a non-convective cup, like where I filled mine with straws, and have the hot water still freeze faster, that would mean that the uh, it's the close contact with the cold that would be the uh, <clears throat> the reason that hot water freezes faster. If not then it's going to be a balance between the two conditions. Okay, uh, traffic's starting to move again, so i got to concentrate on what I'm doing. Bye.